Welcome everyone. Give Nation. Give Reacts is back again. I'm introducing Vito to a uh, well, a new rapper to him. Now, what do we got today, Ian? Who's what do we got? Guys, we got YBN Corday. Now I haven't heard this dude before. No. And uh, you're gonna hear me say that a lot when it comes to music. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'll be trying to show him the music, man. <laughs> sure, when we get into some rock and roll, that's when you hear Ian say that a lot. <laughs> true, true, <laughs> true. Now, I don't think I'm going to say the name of the song. <laughs> oh, God. But you can say it, I can't. <laughs> I'm not going to say the name of the song. Old N Words? I guess, yeah, I guess we, well, <laughs> that's how Vito's going to say it, <laughs> but it's a response, I don't know if you ever listened to 1985, off, did yeah. you ever listen to the J. Cole K.O.D. album? Long time ago. It's, it's a, a res it time. was a response to Cole's 80, uh, 82, 1982 song, because he said, 1985 song, because he said, uh, all these young rappers, pretty much saying, like, if you ain't following if you ain't going about it the right way, you just gonna end up on loving hip hop, like Benzino. Yeah, like 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 Joe Budden. Yeah, like Joe, Joe Budden Bud is back on loving hip hop. Joe Budden's on loving hip hop. He remember he got into a beef of words with him and ended up yeah. on loving hip hop like Benzino. But let's get into this. Let's man. just get right into it. Let's see what he's got. Niggas and new niggas, now what's the difference? All in the same boat, in the stuck position. So when the old nigga talking, I don't fucking listen. They don't know every day we make tough decisions. It seems though we is at a generational gap, which bring conversation in a statement in fact. We can't agree, none of us is supposed to make it a rap. I understand both sides, let me break it in half. Let's take it back when hip hop originated. And old niggas said it was whack, they couldn't take it. And called it a little trendset, it wouldn't last. Now it's the number one genre as a time pass. Young niggas won't listen and we know it. But old niggas always talking, never show it. You gotta practice what you preach and the classes that you teach will eventually listen. My mom mental. See, I understand what he's saying right there, yeah. talking about it when back in the day when it was first starting, because they were <laughs> yeah. they were talking about their type of music was jazz. When they were That's when they were hip fusing hip hop and they were making it what it was becoming. It was going away from what that classical style of music was. To me, hip hop came out of jazz. But what J. Cole was saying is if you're going to make it in hip hop, which was what they created, if you're going to do what we're doing, you have to do it the right way because you're staying within our genre. That's what J. Cole's message yeah, was. I understand what, what he was saying yeah. about that. But, and the old guys are saying, you can have, you can do your way in hip hop, but you have to pay respect and homage to the That's guys what that I'm gave saying. it to you. That's what Cole's message was. Yeah, yeah. Like, I get it. There's a, there's clearly a generational well, there problem. there is. But Emma said it the same way. You have to respect the OGs. You respect the ones that came like, before you because they gave you the platform to do what you're doing right now. Like these, like a lot of artists of this era think that they y'all didn't start nothing no y'all didn't start anything man if anything they started the decline of lyrics all y'all all y'all did was started the goofy ass mumble rap thing it, it, guys cool yeah i don't really see like honestly i don't want to listen to little Uzi well, talk Bird. talk about a trend that started up flamed up and is flaming out yeah like when we're talking about kodak talking about little little Uzi Ver, i don't want to listen to him no like everyone people love if you love little Uzi, that's your that's, that's your prerogative. That's prerogative i think he's whack but i actually like personally i, just think I like he's substance whack. in my music yeah i and i i don't his voice is annoying to me yeah i just don't like his and i don't think he's a rapper I could, I'd, I'd rather listen to Mad Child over and over again. 
Jeez. <laughs> At least that child raps. Exactly. Like. <laughs> At least that child can rap. But nah, let's keep it going. Let's just, let's keep it going. Go ahead. Dude. Lately, all my idols they've been failing me. Catch a sexual assault and some felonies. Then you want me to listen what you're telling me and want to hate when we sing our little melodies. And other idols they be broke. Get your funds in order. And Kanye West is a Trump supporter. Then we got R. Kelly. And Bill Cosby, who still probably got little girls in the Hills lobby. And these supposed to be our heroes? Negro, please. Old niggas unreliable like D Rose knees. Only man I can trust. <laughs> That's so yeah. tr it's yeah. true, though. I give him that. D Rose knees is unreliable. True. But the way he's saying that, you they, you don't get to be told who your heroes are. You pick who your heroes are. You That's do true. pick who you look up to. You're not told who you're looking up to. I'm sorry if anybody's still supporting R. Kelly. You, you got, no. you got to go. <laughs> Why would you? Be, like right I, now, who do you look up to in the rap game? I mean, my favorite rapper is Eminem. Yeah, my but point, I got I look up to other, like Royce. But that, I, but that, I look up to but Fifty that's what I'm Meek Mill. Yeah, but that's my point. You're Cole. picking. You get to decide. You didn't look yeah. up. R. Kelly wasn't a role model for you. Bill Cosby wasn't a role model Girl, for before, you. Before I even knew all the, all the things with R. Kelly, I didn't see him as a role model. That's my point. Like, I just, I didn't, I didn't look at R. Kelly I understand like he's that. just picking two very bad examples now, because it flowed with the Bill song. Bill but... Cosby was kind of a role model. Bill Cosby was <laughs> a role model. Like, he was America's you. dad, but like... But for you, did you think of him as a personal role model for you? I mean, not really, but I see how he was. I see how he was a cultural. He role was model. a cultural. I'm, he, I'm, he I'm was. Talking just for, I'm talking about for you. Yeah, I see what you, I see. Which is like, he he was, and he turned out to be what he was. Yeah, we all know the history of Bill Cosby at this point. You don't. <laughs> you live under a rock, and I can't help you. Like, but I understand where he's coming from. Where you can't. There are people that you thought they were one way, and they're unreliable. Yeah, but. Still, J. Cole's message, based off of what hip-hop and the basis of what his message was, still stands. Yeah. I, I understand see, where he's going with, with this. I see, I see what you But mean. I think the youngin' missed the message if this is the way I he's see. going with it. He didn't get Cole's message if this is the way he's taking it. Like I like how he's attacking yeah. it. I understand where he's going. But I think the young buck missed J. Cole's message. And these supposed to be our heroes? Negro, please. Old niggas unreliable like D-Rose knees. Only man I can trust is G-O-D. Not to mention most deaf and Talib Kweli. Now I get it, y'all think new niggas really suck. And white kids fucking love it, little silly ducks. But I know it's a lot of bullshit going on, I understand. But please don't complain without a plan. Ironically, I wrote this whole song off of Zan, now I'm playing. I'm just trying to be a fucking man. We see you old niggas as a lot of clowns. Not to mention our father. The figures was not around, so we all long towards and we hop in towns. We just need to sit down and find common ground. And it's soon to come, soon to come. Hip hop need balance like the moon and sun. It feel good when I wear Christian Louboutins. So I gotta drop music to accrue some funds. And I get it, that's the mindset that's killing the rhyme fest. But feeding our families, lowering the crime. Yet you want us to be separate and make a contest. Rapping to say about the streets, shouldn't mind that. Staying out of prison, that we saying fuck the system man rapping is our outlet to go and get our dividends rather than out robbing niggas selling riddling old niggas bitter y'all should love it when the niggas we win. came from the same struggle like diddy and dame russell was teaching and gained hustle got rich remain subtle see i listen see i listen but lord there they were the whipping in the kitchen ready to flip a pack and bring it back no he can spit no he, he can spit i see the message that he's trying to play around with and the way he's trying to spin it because you do have to do it your own way. You do have yeah. to come up and bring it your own the way you want to If you to copy be. other people, no one's going to look at you. Right. But J. Cole's message was you just have to respect and do a go about hip-hop the right way, which he is doing hip-hop the right way. Yeah. This is what J. Cole's talking about. But I still think the way he's attacking it, he missed what J. Cole's message was. I see your perspective. I, I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And I understand why he took it the way he took it. Yeah. So that's what a lot of people do. They miss. They, they miss, miss the underlying yeah, message. Yeah, they don't. They just miss the main point. Yeah, exactly.
they hear what they want to hear. Yeah, they see what they want to see. see. Yep. See, I listen, but Lord, they they want a weapon in the kitchen. Ready to flip a pack and bring it back. No submission. Gotta just go attack. Lord, pumped when you're dissing. I understand both sides of the ziplock. Your old niggas' time is coming, nigga. Tick tock. I'ma still wear all my Gucci flip flops and the fucking diamond chain with the big rocks. And I be the greatest ever, nigga. Just watch. Cardi B got rich from loving hip hop. <laughs> she did though. That's like she was she was grinding on loving hip hop though. But like I think what happened with Cardi, she stayed patient, stayed in her lane and just kept working. Yeah. And and it It paid off. It paid her hard work paid off. That's what it, that's what it takes though. She stayed in the lane and she just kept grinding and it paid off. But that's what you do. You stay in your lane, you grind and you work and it pays off. Exactly. I keep on that. You stay in that grind. It's going to pay off for you. It is. It is. Guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all know what to do. Get that conversation going. Hit that notification bell. And hey, this, I, I just want to say congratulations to YBN Corday. I do believe he was nominated for a Grammy for, the, for his debut yeah. album, The Lost Boy. To me, to be graminated for your first album. That's awesome. That's big. That's a huge, that's a huge honor. That's big. Even it though is. I don't vibe with how the Grammys run things, but... No, because it's rigged. It is. It's a, it's a, but to be nominated for your debut album, yeah. that's awesome. But again, guys, thanks for stopping in, spending some time with us. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Later.